Welcome to the Totally Insensitive Podcast, where we give our real takes on the entertainment industry, politics, pop culture, and more. I love the show, guys. You're awesome. Listen, my whole family loves it, man. They're the first thing I turn on. Think you can handle it? Yep, I'm ready. Well, shut up and sit down, because the show starts right now. Welcome, guys, to another bonus episode of Hello, Hello. Totally Insensitive Podcast. James is here. We were talking I was about a little early, huh? a, what you were Nothing. a little early, but I'm totally going to pretend you weren't. <laughs> Sounds good. Perfect. Sweet. <laughs> so like, we're giving you this bonus episode because we were talking about something interesting and we thought we would share it with you guys. You guys. The, uh, the Tesla Cybertruck. Many of you have probably seen this. I'll call it interesting item. When uh when did it release? Uh it right? what's today? The today know, we're 23rd. recording is the twenty third. I heard about it yesterday. Yeah, I think I started seeing stuff about it yesterday also. But it's not supposed to be produced until late twenty twenty. Um so I recommend going and looking up a picture of this. I'm gonna play their uh video from when they unveiled the uh and broke the windows yeah that's what i saw on that's what i saw on instagram so it made me bring this up they're essentially what they were saying was what elon was saying was like (laughs) oh it's this like indestructible super durable you know all-wheel drive bulletproof vehicle and if you look at it 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 looks pretty bulletproof and indestructible and uh they unveil it out on this shitty little ramp. It's just weird looking. Look at this thing. I don't even know how to describe yeah, it. Yeah, it's a truck. I don't it. Okay, so this guy's got a sledgehammer. I hyphen it up and it's pretty strong. Yeah. Oh my God. And the window well, instantly shattered. Maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> Let's try the right. Try that one, really? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Oh man, it didn't go through. That guy's not even like baseball pitching. He's just like yeah. robbing the ball over. Yeah. Uh, Someone's getting fired. Dead. But. Also, that's probably just a prototype. Like you said, they're not being produced right. until 2020. Right. But if Elon's going to brag about that shit, then it should be able to see. Right. At least one uh, of the windows should be, you know, this bulletproof the bulletproof window. or whatever he's saying. Yeah. I think I don't like the way it looks, but I feel like if you look back, like obviously a 69 Camaro looks different than a 2019 Camaro. So I think yeah. Elon's trying to get like the new wave of look for cars out. He, yeah, he very well. And I be. feel like I feel like in five, ten years, like Chevy, GM, like all Ford and whatever, all these car companies are going to start producing cars that look similar. Like that's going to be the new thing. It's the new wave of technology. Yeah. And I, I feel like uh, Elon Musk tries to do that a lot, though. He tries to be the, the front runner of a lot of tech. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, he is, and it's good, I guess. Yeah, I something. mean, it's good for him. What was the... He did uh, a lot of, like, solar shit. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't hear of, like, a lot of people, like, getting on board with what he's doing. So it's, like, just him, kind of. Yeah. I mean, he he does a lot of, like goofy shit like the flamethrowers he made flamethrowers and he sold like 2,000 flamethrowers yeah just for fun like (laughs) he has too much money although I was reading an article about his he's trying to create a new internet service oh I did hear about that and he's yeah and he's using satellites so he's got Plans to launch like a hundred thousand satellites, and they've launched like thirty of them so far. And they're really interesting because they're they're not they're like they're called low orbit satellites, right? 
So apparently you're supposed to be able to like see them from the ground pretty easily. Right. So I don't know. It'll be interesting. Yeah. But uh yo, if that ever like comes into play, you know, Elon hook up my internet, bro. Yeah, you up there in the middle of nowhere. Yep. You could definitely use some. I know. That's uh interesting. Wow. I just wanted to scroll on my screen and realized it was your screen. <laughs> You can try <laughs> scrolling on my screen. That's what she said. Ooh, kinky. Um, but like, I don't even like the look of the truck. No, no, it's it's just it's garish is the word that I would use. Like, uh, what's up? even the like, ass the end roof, looks like trash. Is I want to know is the inside of the roof pointed like that? Uh, like, if I sit in the back seat, is is it going to be like I'm standing? That's kind of cool. I don't think that's cool if it's like that. <laughs> well, it like pops up. Uh, let's see. This is the interior. Yeah, I feel like you're going to hit your head or something. See this? Uh, I was looking at my screen. Hold oh, on. okay. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, I... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It looks... I don't know. Maybe not. Are, are there three seats in the front? Yeah, three seats. I mean, I got three seats in the front. Yeah, but... Yeah. We. Oui. Good point. And uh, this is all just, like, prototype and... Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, he's still got, like, two years, so... But also, is he going to be able to produce some? Or is it going to... Are you going to buy one and get it in four years? Like, right. Well, that's the that's the thing that's been an issue with a lot of his cars is you just... Yeah. Like, it's great. You got, like, whatever, electric and save the economy, fuel economy, and go green. Yeah. But you got to wait four years for the fucking car. But I, I, I think that's his issue is he's got his hands in a million different things. And he doesn't take he the time yeah. to focus on... Like one thing, and make it available. Right, right. To the amount of demand. Yeah, I think if he really just like focused on one thing, he would really excel on it. But he, he, yeah, I don't know. He puts out eight or nine, somewhat half cooked things instead of one awesome thing. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but hey, I mean, whatever. I'm not gonna buy one. I don't like it. I just bought a truck. <laughs> yeah, what do you need I'm, to do uh, one for? I'm I'm loyal to Chevy, anyway. So true. But kind of uh, looks hey, like good a, for the people that do buy it. Yeah, good for them. The ten people. Um, kind of looks yeah. like a DeLorean. Yeah, yeah, like all the all sheet metal. Yeah. Interesting. Fuck. Oh man, dude, my house is creaking. This morning it was going crazy. Just creaking. Yeah. That's that was a big one, dude. <laughs> it's uh the temperature change. Yeah. I, all my cousins would be like, "It's the ghost! It's the ghost!" It probably is a ghost, or it's the mouse. Ah. Mice. Yes, sorry, the mice. Killed, killed five of them. Ooh, you so got far. five? Maybe yeah. that's what Tesla should make, a uh, a rat trap. What, are you one of the a humane rat trap? No, no, it should, like, vaporize the thing. Oh, okay. I want it to be as inhumane as possible. Like a okay. little rat guillotine. I mean, that's what mine does, but doesn't cut the skin. Hmm. It just severs the insides. We'll get little rat uh, horses. They'll be solar-powered horses. You know what I mean? So you get both sides. You get other people on board, too. What, like, what do you mean? Like Trojan horses? No, no, no. Like, uh, like I'm going to send my sure. other mice assassins in? In these horses? In yeah. these horses? Uh, no. No. Like little metal horses. Okay. And, uh... They'll tie ropes to the mice's hands and feet. 
and the, all the little metal horses will run in different directions. Uh huh. So the limbs just rip off, and then the mouse just kind of dies. I I see where you're going for it now. I was confused that whole time. You just brought it full circle. I got oh. it now. <laughs> that, I'm glad that form of torture. Yep. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. That could work, <laughs> but I mean, what kind of mess would that make in my cabinets when I? Um. Well, it wouldn't be in your cabinets. You set up like a little like stage area, and the horses the would like run around, right? And they'd catch the mice. Like lasso them, and they bring them to the but stage I mean, area, and then they do it. So it would be very contained. I see. I feel like I'm not. I'm not selling it right, am I? I mean, now I got to add something. I have to have like more room for something else in my house. Well, you have room for all the mount the mouse traps. Yeah, but they're small. Right. They're so, right but how many mouse traps do you have? Four. Okay, so this little stage, we'll call it, is f- the size of four mouse traps, but it's in one spot. The, mm. And it'll have like a little basin to catch all the blood and guts. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's okay. Mm-hmm. So instead of going to four spots, checking it all the time, you got one spot. You only got to check it once, and you'll know when it's being used. I mean, is this backed by anyone? Um, Did have you spoken to Elon? Uh, I, it's been on Shark Tank. I've got some people, some investors on. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll uh, I'll look into it. I'll let you know. Yeah. Sure, dude. Definitely. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for. Twenty percent investment at thirty thousand dollars. So, uh, yeah, twenty percent of thirty. Twenty percent. Uh, With thirty k uh, is the twenty percent of correct. the total. Correct. Correct. I see. I see. Yeah, it's a little steep. Well, it's going to take off, James. It's going to take off at a big, uh, big rate, and yeah, you're going to want to jump on now. Yeah, before. Yeah. It's your opportunity. You know what I mean? Where is it exactly going to take off to? Um, Norway? Where, uh, like, the population is so, small? Like... No, 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 no. I was thinking Germany. Germany, there's a lot of uh, mice in Germany. Is there? Yes. I didn't know about that. Was... There are actually a lot of mice in America also, because there are no cats in America, as Fievel Mouskowitz once said. Um, I mean, I I got home last night to bring this back to reality. Sure. <laughs> I, got, I got home last night, went to check the propane level in my propane tank, fucking took a step toward it. You know what ran under it? Mouse? A little mousy. Oh, a little mouse. You're yeah. trying to stay warm. I was like, wow, look at this guy. I tried to step on him. How'd that go? I mean, I saw him and like made my next step be on top of his head, but he ran under the tank. Ah, that um, bastard. Yeah. That rat bastard. Because you know where he probably went to sleep? Where? Probably next to me in my bed. Oh, yeah, probably because, yeah, most likely. Well, that's a good thought. Nah, but uh, probably in my house. I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, yeah, where else would he go? I don't know, but it was cold last night. Yeah, it was cold here. You know where it's not cold? In moderate temperate areas? In Tesla's Cybertruck. Is, is, I mean, depends on where the truck is now. Well, not if it has heat. Then it could be anywhere. Yeah, but then the truck's got to be running for it to not be cold. Like, my truck right now has heat, but it's cold. It is not running. We're going to look up the specs for this Cybertruck. We're going to figure it out. And go get Tesla's. the fuck out of here with this screen, Tesla. I don't like the screen. Yeah, it was a little weird. Like, how can you... Where's, like, your music and all your shit? You have to change fucking pages? I have that now, and I hate it. <laughs> Cold rolled stainless steel. Armored glass. 
utility storage. Zero to 60 miles per hour in six and a half seconds. Wow. Why? I don't know. We're not on a fucking drag strip here. 250 plus mile range. Rear view. What? Rear wheel drive. It's, I mean, my truck's rear wheel, but well, does it have a full wheel option? There's, there's three options, yeah. Um, or two high, dual four motor, high, all wheel drive. Yeah. Which is uh, zero to 60 in four and a half seconds. And Why? A, a three motor, all wheel drive, which is zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds. <laughs> Fucking why? Did so, you say 2.9 or 3.9? 2.9. <laughs> Why? So, I don't know. Not only is this thing ugly as dick, but it's ridiculously fast for no reason. Motherfuckers making like like drag cars for the street use. Why? We don't need it. It has a pretty good towing capacity, though. 14 ton. 14 ton? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's what it says, dude. 14 tons. You're telling me that thing can haul 28,000 pounds. Uh, 14,000 pounds. Seven, seven, seven Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, once the conversion is the metric, they don't fly right in my head. I mean, that's still a lot. That's like a three-quarter pickup. Yeah. It has autopilot and adaptive air suspension. Air ride? That's I guess so, yeah. have that work. It only has 100 cubic feet of storage, though. It doesn't really seem like a lot. Yeah, in the bed. bed. Is that a lot? What would that be? 100 cubic feet. (laughs) I'm saying like dimensioned. Uh, It would have to be like... What, like three feet high? So like eight feet by five feet? Yeah, eight feet by five feet by like two and a half feet. Eight by five is 40. Yeah. It doesn't really seem like a lot. And that's an eight foot bed. What do you mean? A- five, five foot wide, three foot, two and a half feet high. All right, well, maybe it is. How big is this long. fucking truck then? Yeah, what's the overall length? Uh, let's see. That's probably more than my truck. I don't know what the you specs think? of my truck are. Yeah, because I don't have an 8-foot bed. My bed's 69 inches. 69.8. Yeah, it's not It's not giving me an overall length. Oh, it's giving me a length for the, the, bed. the bed, though. Six and a half feet. Okay. 72, 78 inches. Hmm. See how much it is. 39K, I think. 39.5 or something. Uh, the tri motor, which is the one that I was just reading the specs about, is 69.9. Yeah. My bed volume, I'm on Chevy.com, is 62.9 cubic feet. So it's bigger. It's got, but that means this truck's got to be massive, dude. I for, mean, is it a crew cab feet? or a double? Is uh, it a full back seat? Yeah, it's a full back seat. And an eight foot bed or a six and a half foot bed. I yeah. mean, it's a it's a long truck, hmm. no doubt. But I mean, you can get a Chevy like that. Yeah. For seven thousand dollars more, you can get uh, self driving. Dude, fuck that! That's another thing. Get out of here with the lane assist shit and the all like the the auto correcting, like park yourself, like the car parks itself. And yeah, I had it'll break for you and shit. One of fuck my rental that. cars it, to it, Champlain Valley had lane assist, and it would it would adjust its speed based on the car in front of you. And it would yeah, apply the brakes if the car in front of you slammed on the brakes. 
fuck that. It's making drivers lazy. Drivers aren't going to pay attention now. It's going to cause more accidents and people are going to rely on the cars to fix themselves. Yep. And you're really going to get, you're going to get drivers that are like, they're going to get into an accident and the cop's going to be like, well, why weren't you paying attention? It's like, well, the car usually does it. I guess that module is broken. And like, that's going to be people's excuse now. It's going to be like, the car usually tells me and it didn't. I don't like, I never have to watch out for it. It's going to make people lazy. It's going to get, it's, it's bad. I don't yeah. like it. That's my opinion. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> I <laughs> agree. I totally agree with you, dude. I think that shit's unnecessary. I mean, you you remember the Trailblazer. I barely even had heat in the thing, and that thing worked great. Yeah. I would take that thing over any of these new cars any day. I still miss my old truck. <laughs> but don't you like your new truck, James? I do, but there's still shit that annoys me. What'd you do with it? You turned it in? Not nah, sitting in my driveway. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you still have her? You could still drive her around. Yeah. I can. Yeah. Well. But. Yeah. This, so the cyber truck is uh, cyber fucked. Um, I don't like it. No, no. That's a nay from us. Yeah. Ooh, I can see where the gas goes in too. Are you not I thought, actually? I thought it was electric. It is electric. So my apologies. I can does see where you plug a, in the fucking thing. Does it have a fuel backup? And what did it say? Two hundred fifty miles plus. Uh, so the the tri motor is five hundred plus miles, which is like a standard. Like my car gets five hundred miles. I mean, that's not bad. I get like 400 to a tank. Right. But I idle my truck a lot. Right, right. The cheap one, the single motor, is 250 miles. Yeah, nah, fuck that. Dude, I do that <laughs> in a day. Yeah. You'd have to charge up every day. Yeah, what would my electric bill be? And I'd have to find charging stations. Yeah. When I'm... Yeah, nah, They just that. put one in here. Near me. Yeah, you think they got them in the middle of bumfuck New York where I work? No. I'm <laughs> surprised they have them here. But everyone's super liberal here, so that's why they're here. And there are, like, I've seen them. One of the guys at work has a fucking Tesla, and he's a prick. Wow. That's just how I feel. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, that was, that was fun. It's a fun little bonus episode yeah. about how this piece of shit truck maybe it'll be a bit better when it comes out in two years i i maybe. doubt it but guess we'll see hmm. yeah that's all we can do wait yeah <laughs> all right guys thanks for joining us for this quick little bonus episode you guys have a great later. day bye